Well, everybody, and welcome back to Brides Frontier. So the majority of what I will be focusing on are the food mechanics. I know that they tweaked the goats and chickens to be more usable. So I want to re-explore that. I also want to see um, how they modified combat. So we'll be doing at least a couple bunkers and bunkers, sorry, towers and a barracks. Probably won't go too far with this let's play. I do want to get my mega build out at some point, but I need to learn some of the new mechanics so that I can fine tune it. But uh, so far, so good. We have our storehouse up. All of our basic buildings are up. And the market is almost up. Uh, eventually, I will need to move into making my first farm. Probably going to do it right here. This is a good spot right there. Everybody seems to be doing all right. Put this up to times three. But yeah, man, the graphics look pretty dang amazing on Max. That is for sure. New villager born. I don't actually like that. I want fully born developed people. Five infants. Not good. Five people. I have to feed and who aren't producing anything. But eventually they will become adolescent and uh, I can put them to work. Alright. A few more boards and we got the market and that'll be good because we'll get some money coming in. Another thing that we need to start producing here pretty much immediately is going to be the Fletcher. Oh. Bro. Probably going to be moving some stuff around, so with the Fletcher. We're going to do the. I think we're going to put the bunker up here. <laughs> Same bunker. Yeah, this is a nice little hill. It's a perfect spot. The majority of the defense should probably go right here. Oh, I mean, it's going to be hard to know what this thing's going to look like until we're looking at it. Slap it here for now, I guess. Alright, make sure that this is prioritized. I do not want wood going into that. This is done. Cool. And I've got 13 pieces of lumber. That indicates to me that people are lazy. No. Well, they, they probably are, but uh, in all the good ways, I suppose. Pretty decent. There's some really good bird nests. I mean,. When one gatherer would be bringing in about 200 eggs, potentially, plus everything else. Yeah, one gatherer would actually out, outpace the uh, hunter. I don't know what the shelf life of eggs are. I know hazelnuts last as long as, like, beans and stuff, which is why I'm manually gathering all the hazelnuts. Um, eventually, when you get further in the game, you want to deselect this, because you don't, unless you have a lot of laborers. Um, early game, it's smart, but... Uh, Eventually, I'll have a farm. Oh, nice. Big group of people coming in. Well. There we go. It does appear I am going to build another house. Here. Gather should go up here pretty, uh, pretty soon. I think with that actually influx of people, uh, we would be wise to, to expand our, our empire here. Alright, so we're gonna put a forager shack right in the in the heart of this marsh. And this area is never gonna be touched even though it's great for agriculture, but and since we also got those other people we should be thinking about the future. Um, so if a twenty-four were to be here, it'd have a 98% fertility factor if I put it here. But now it would have a 100% environmental fertility factor. I need uh, reconnaissance. So now we'll be at herbs, lots of good trade items. Basket making, which will increase the productivity of our workers being able to carry more. Ooh. That's looking like it's going to be a 100% environmental fertility factor. 
So this says 100%. I would take that with a grain of salt, but um, it's pretty on point. Pull right there. And we'll pull that one over. And we'll probably be able to do another 6x12. 100% environmental fertility factor is something I have not had in um, eons. All right. We got 34 to 36. We're going for the tier 2 housing here soon, but um, I'm going to do one more house. I always kind of just like build one house at a time. I guess the trade post is next and then the tier 2 forester probably in this area so we can have a concentrated wood production. I'm pretty certain that this is going to be a high fertility area because of all the oaks. Alright. Alright, cool. We got the flesher. We're going to do our caps. 1200, 1200 arrows for now. I up that as I go. And the bows I cap at about 40. New villager born. My bane. Okay, cool. We're gonna if we want to expand our population any further, we're going to definitely need to get this crop field up. Look at him go. The foliage on makes the game look very much a little too colorful for me. I got I've gotten so used to playing without it. Meat are we getting here? 288. Good amount of pelts. Those look like they remedied the pelt situation. So the hunter cabins are operating pretty decently. Um, not enough meat. Fish, 560. It looks like he's smoking the majority of all that meat. We have no fish. Unless fish, there's land fish, but uh, no, we have no fish. All right, 35 out of 40. Building this up one at a time. Just waiting on the boards right now. I'll boot that up to four people to get the boards going. I do not believe I put a limit on firewood. I do 14. Good to me. Alright, there we are. Perfection. And how much is it going to cost me to move this? 100? Okay. And we'll move it up here eventually. Beautiful. I think I will move guy preemptively right here. Take a gander. Got eight laborers. Six farmers. We'll boot that down to three once we get it up. But they're up in the field right now. You can see when you have foliage on, uh, you see a lot more activity. That they're actually removing the foliage instead of just, you know, pounding dirt, which is uh, equally as entertaining to watch. Dirt pounding. Frontier pastime. Damn. Everything's, everything's looking sharp. Okay. How do I want to... Okay. Green. This green area. It's always a shame to lose lose a good spot. And you just want 12s. So it looks like right here is is kind of the it, it factor. Like you want your farms right here. 12s. Cool. Yeah, we're not going to need too many farms. This won't be too big of a city. But this gives us a, something to work with here. We are going to do a very basic town design. Move a lot of this stuff down. One tile gap in between for decoration. Let's get this place organized. This can be flush. Or it can be...
flush. Be a very awkward, awkward, awkward hill. Not going to provide too many benefits. I'm just going to wing a design on this guy. Mainly I want to test the raid mechanics early game. I want to test the food mechanics early game. Pretty much all the new features. And see what I can learn. What I can uh, bring into the new strategy. Um, let's upgrade it. I know it's going to cost more to move it, but... I may not even move it. I'm just like the hill. The his hill is not really big enough. To, um, well, let's take a peek. Plus four there. It's like plus three here. Yeah, I'll get like a couple. Plus seven. It's almost fine where it is. Alright, one more house. Looks like the spot to do a road. The farm. But so we can do roads down this thing. Going all over the place. Yeah. Very basic, basic design here. Put that there for now. Near the farm. We should have put it actually in that corner near the market. In farm, but whatever. Right. That leaves space on this side. Okay. This will be housing. We're tier two now. Two hundred and fifty gold. May not move it actually. Kind of fine. All right. Well, so the big the big dog stuff here. Horse is getting a wagon shop up. There for now. Wolf is kind of a dick. Crops are ready. Set down to three. We want to get the weeds off. Um, apparently they fixed it so peas no longer freak out everything. So this is my go-to. This basically allows you to clear weeds grow fertility and get a little bit of food a pretty good combo and clovers can help kill weeds as well or bring the weed levels down that's good too but we got to get rid of the rockiness gotta have a mix of everything once the wagon is up we can build our work camp and we'll just get a bigger influx of wood. And it will allow me to stop using my laborers for, you know, having 10 people going out rather than a dedicated team of five. It's a lot more efficient. 
or camps, I think, or something people don't... Let me explain that. Do you see how many a person has to walk all the way over here, right? And they have to pick that log, and they have to walk it all the way back. The work camp, they cut it, they walk it to the camp. They cut, they walk to the camp. The wagon comes and gathers all the wood and brings it back. You're talking massive efficiency gains. Like, especially early game. So, yeah, don't have 20, you know, 10, 15, 20 laborers uh, cutting wood if you can get a work camp down. All right. So the bandits are coming. These guys just don't care. Four hill, four hill never happened. All right, here we come. Oh, it's not a big raid. It's basic, basic raid. Got one archer. He's really no match. Alright, that was uh, exciting, I guess. Oh shit. There's one dude who's, who's got some thicker armor. Yeah, you see, this is what happens. You get the one, the one guy who takes just one damage. So what I have to do, oh shit. Yeah, so this is interesting. And he's just not gonna let go until he kills this guy. And they dropped all my nuts. Yeah, there's a few straggler bandits. Almost like a second wave. Yeah, we're basically just gonna do a ring around the rosy with this dude. Ooh, that was close. They're, they're determined. Game requires great zen, like patience, and ring around the rosy raining. Okay, let it go. Let him go. And that, just let him go. All right. Well, that was fun. And we'll have another one there. Two big farms. Big old area, lots of housing can go in here. Yeah, this isn't gonna work the way I wanted it to. I'm gonna need to move this guy. Looks like we got the scurvy going on. went did they steal it <laughs> okay there it is oh, it was because i moved the trip the storehouse sorry i'm a door trade post will be next the trade post would be post i move this guy all the way back here could work. I could do. I could do. I could work. Such a. In such a pitiful hill. Just. Not very good. I don't know what will get me much. It's too far away from everything. It's not bad. To get this stuff down, I'll start doing beans.
All right. Baskets is something I need to make for the game. Oh, not really getting a whole lot of herbs. Interesting. Don't have a big one. All right. Time to invest. Work camp is first. 87%. Yeah, just like I thought. 91%. That's pretty insane. We'll definitely do work camp there. That pretty much tells me that this will be the industry side. We keep the industry right here. It'd be highly, highly, highly productive. Money would be nice. things I want to do. I want to figure out the limitations here. If I expand this, I could get one more house in that area. That's, that's going to be it. That's edge for this. And this will help me establish my hand. Oh. Perfect. And then I can use housing all the way up to here. Um, probably just go with my 2x2 two, my two two design. Super fancy. Yep. Oh crap, did I build that house? Alright, that's I'll build that house too. Um, and then we'll just do the same thing. A road behind it. And that will give me clearly defined boundaries. And then what I do between our residentials and industries, I use my storage. As a buffer. Storage and any building that uh, doesn't have a desirability pill. This is a good one. And then the Fletcher would be nice. I mean, we already have a Fletcher. Sorry. We want a basket shop. And the wagon shop can definitely go over here. Bling it over here for now. Perfect. Look at that. Now we have four dedicated, so I can take everybody off this. I'm going to tell them to stop harvesting these things. Not by hand, because we have plenty of other things for them to do. Beautiful. Alright. Stop it. This is one of the ones that's the worst. You can see the negative desirability. And I'm using these two guys to tell me where I can put things. So the saw pit can right about here. I think I've set the parameter for everything here now. So what is this? One, two. I'll delete this road later. I'm just going to use it as a means of uh, counting. Will be it. Will be mount through you. Right. 
upgrades a little mountain. We'll put the trade post and storage up in here. That's it. Picked. I actually might change that up a bit, but oh, we'll figure it out. Firewood splitters can usually be pretty close. Right about here. Yep. Smoker. Hunter. I'm gonna put two of them up here now. Oh shit. Oh shit. Um. Yeah. There's a way to do this. defend ourselves first. No, we're gonna need a compost yard here too. Oh nice. Money. Throw it all in the tent. There we go. Easy bandits. There we go. Might be some straggler bandits coming. Yeah, the uh, the other guys. All right. A few more. Get them over to the tower, my friend. Go. Oof. Is rough. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to get him. Alright, I think that was it. Dang, that one says high pollutant fields too. Here for now. A little upset that they interrupted me. Right. Dude. That. Oh, nice. 189. Throw it in the tent. Be building some stuff here soon. There. We definitely need every available worker. We have a lot of kids, don't we? Hmm. Evan. I just have to let them catch up with all my main tasks. It's also going to be pretty important to have a defensive area around the market. Got to keep the bears out of the houses. We have the wood. We're just going to do a, a low, a low fence right here. to kind of channel the, the bears through certain avenues. Yep. The bears. Hmm. 
I definitely want to move this right here. That will give it protection. I didn't know bears could attack root cellars, actually, to be honest. I don't think I've ever seen a bear do that. I've seen him attack houses. Plenty of times. And lots of people. I don't think I've added death yet. I don't have any dead bodies. But we are out of food. And I blame the bear for that because we were having a great harvest. But yeah, we gotta get the bear protected. This isn't literally as I say. Oh, and so. Ooh. Alright, I guess we'll have to go back to gathering nuts again. You live and you learn. Let's do an emergency. Everybody off of that. Take it. Waiting. Off the wagon. Yeah. Need an emergency amount of people building. Boom. Builders. Ah. It was the hunter. And where are the... He's sick. Oh, he's sick. Ugh. This happens sometimes, and you just have to rehire. Prioritize getting that hunter down. We'll be okay. We'll have a, um, a bumper crop coming in. Hopefully. Yeah, I don't know what they do with all my food. It'll be okay. It's a lot harder to starve than you guys think. You have to really screw up. Wood only. There we go. I think the best place to put this thing probably is like right about here, but place right there. Stick again, huh? I should probably get some berries into their their diet. Your health seems to be... Let's just... Oh, he's got dysentery. Alright, whatever. I gotta get rid of the waste, though, or I'm gonna have a disease outbreak. There we are. It, it looks a little hilly. Yeah. Like a little hill. this slightly raised area up in no time. Alright, that's ready for the fencing. I just got a little too much going on. We have not had an immigration wave yet. We're gonna get back on track here just in a second. I get this terraforming done though. Alright, I'll cool on the terraforming after this. And I'll stop this guy. Uh, no, I know I need I need this need this to look right so that I remember what I was doing. I'm gonna come and look at it later. Yeah, there we go. And 
this guy will bump that up one more. Perfect. Sells a second tower here. They're kind of outlining the defenses. Alright. Gosh, you're getting raided. They definitely tweak the raid. Annex. God, please get that tower up in time. Anybody, please get in that tower. We're going to need it. We got. Waves coming from two directions. It needs to get equipped before the. I don't think you can get there in time. They're they're coming on fast. All right, you got to quit, but can he get to his unit in time? Perfect. Love it. Look at that. He's already kicking ass. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, we gotta get our defenses up, though. These raids will get more intense. Our food is surprisingly bad. See if we can get the beans going. Can't move it if I do it that way. That's fine. I was going to do clovers and beans, and that will get rid of the weeds. And uh, The raid, raids at this stage are not very intimidating. Oh, sorry that I'm not just staring at it. Yeah, they're, they're pretty tame. We're definitely, like, flirting with disaster, though, with the, the little amount of food that I have. Lack of labors. I'm pretty sure I took those guys out. Danner, Fletcher, Basket. Everybody. We need to focus on getting this town back up. Kind of like these roads now. <laughs> I keep them. Do this a double walled area. There we go. Oh, thank you. We can lose them in mind. Alright, the beans definitely kicked in. Um, but we are hurting, so... Let's use these newfound people to look at ways of expanding food production. What the shit? Oh, it's because I turned everything off. I got you. Alright, auto refill back on. not going to be enough. There's a massive deer spawn over here. Action. Luckily, we have a massive forest, and I haven't actually had to upgrade to the forester yet. Ooh, another deer spawn down here. Perfect. That should help with the meat issue. Need some stone. Thought there was a ton of stone around. Alright, there you go. Dirt 
magnetize a little bit of stone here. This be a massive wall, I guess. Yeah, I actually like this design. Um, I'm probably going to put barracks right here. Have it walled off. Get two of them if I wanted. Yeah, get that up a little bit. Definitely give this guy a pretty good bonus. Alright, well that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a good one.